Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Tensor, a NFT project on top of Solana. Before I get started guys, nothing I say in this video is a financial advice and also the airdrop is never guaranteed. So let's get started. What is Tensor and how do you be eligible for the potential airdrop? Uh, also, I just want to say congratulations to everyone that's been getting the recent airdrops. We had Celestia, we had Jupiter, we had um, all the big ones, and uh, we had re recently Jito, which is in the Solano ecosystem. And uh, it just goes to show, guys, you know, even if you staked a few Solana, you would have got around eight to ten thousand dollars worth of tokens. And so it just goes to show airdrops are not a waste of time, and um, it is worth the little bit of effort um, you put into them. So. Um, just want to put that out there because I don't do these videos just for the sake of it because I need content ideas or something. I legitimately do it because it's one of the best risk adjusted ways to earn in crypto. So I'll just, I'll, maybe just, I can do another video on that, but just wanted to mention that. So Tensor, what is Tensor? So for people that are in the Ethereum or been in crypto space and the NFT space for a while, Tensor is like the blur of Solana. So you have the open sea of uh, Solana, which is Magic Eden. I've done a video on that um, a few videos ago. You guys can watch that. So that's the main NFT platform. And then you have Blur in the e uh, Ethereum ecosystem. And Tensor is like uh, Blur in the sense that it's more advanced. It's not the most noob-friendly uh, DEX, uh, sorry, uh, NFT platform. But it's more advanced. And also, um, they raised money. And um, they're quite a good platform. So there is speculation that they might potentially uh, do an airdrop. So let's just uh, talk about the, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. I don't need to go into what they are. You'll understand more later on if you don't understand. So in terms of uh, Mount Rays, they raised a seed round of 3 million. So seed rounds are usually small, so that's totally fine. And they got some very good um, backers. So they got uh, Placeholder Ventures, which is a Chris Beniski's uh, fund. Um, he was the main guy in Arc Capital uh, or I don't know the it's a, it's a normal Web two fund crypto fund they they're very bullish on crypto but he was the actual crypto guy before he set up a placeholder. Then you've got Solana Ventures, you got Raj Gokal and Anatoly. Um, if you're in the Solana ecosystem, I don't need to tell you who they are. They're the co-founders of Solana. So very good, promising. I do reckon we're fairly early in this project in terms of what they've raised or publicly. I think they would raise another one more round or at least two more rounds at a bigger valuation. And so even though the project's been out for a while, I don't think it's too late. It's not, we're not very, very early. I'll admit that, but I don't think we're too late either. So let's look into what we need to do. So Tensor, so the main thing about Tensor is they have a point system. If you see here, if you go into your wallet and you'll see these different percentages. So um, we'll, we'll get into the tasks, etc. But I just want to explain the point system. They're literally telling you what you will need to do to uh, get points. It's not um, exclusive, only these things, there's more things you could do. So you list NFTs, other things that they're going to do. So let's look into what you need to actually do to be eligible. For number one, I would say just use as many as, as many features and, as, and products as possible on their website. So for example, you'd want to try to buy NFTs on this uh, platform. So if you're looking into a Solana um, NFT, um, you'd want to go into here. They even got inscript uh, inscriptions and you can also trade. So um, just that's obviously you should go without saying number one. Number two, favorite NFTs. So you can favorite different NFTs. I've favorited a few, but you can favorite whichever one, just hit the star button and that would uh, favorite the NFT. Number three, you can um, place bids for NFTs. So you you don't have to necessarily do for the expensive ones. You can do it for cheap ones as well. Okay, so here you got an NFT, you can hit bid and then just put your amount in and then you can bid for that NFT. So I done it earlier on and um, I, I think I ended up buying it because the, well, the NFT went down. So yeah, so you want to favorite NFTs, bid on NFTs. And then another thing, um, which is not obvious, but um, I think is worth mentioning, is uh, loyalty. So long story short, if you use other platforms like Magic Eden or different NFT platforms, you might want to do that on a different wallet or use this on a different wallet because if you're interacting a lot with the competitors, your loyalty rank might go lower. So just probably use a different wallet, etc. For So your lo loyalty rank doesn't get hit. That's uh, another thing. And also what I would say is one of the main things apart from the points is to hold one of these NFTs. So they're called Tensorians, but they're very expensive. So even at today's price is around $7,000. 
Uh, me personally, I don't own one. I don't plan to own one. Not at that price. Is, uh, I don't, you know, the airdrop has to be worth a lot for this to be worth it. So I guess we'll see. But me personally, I'm just doing um some of the other tasks. Um, but yeah, so if you buy one of these NFTs, I'm pretty sure that this might make you eligible. But like I said, it's very expensive. So I wouldn't recommend it personally. But if you do buy it, you do get extra benefits as well. They like um, I read somewhere to give you a referral link out. You need to own one of these NFTs. So that's Tensorian. Ten and then also what you want to do is uh, deposit funds. So if you uh, click on your balance, you'll see a deposit. You can deposit how much you want and then hit deposit. And so um, by doing that, um, you can snipe uh, or buy NFTs faster because you already have money in the platform. And so lastly, just literally, guys, just stay up to date with their socials. You can join them on Discord and then follow them on social media if they have any new task or anything you want to do that and um, just just stay active on the platform and you know just accumulate your points they don't have anything like magic eden where you log in every day and you you know cl claim the diamonds they don't have anything like that as far as i've researched um but yeah this this could potentially be a good obviously solana airdrops are very hyped right now so it could be very interesting so yeah guys hope you got some value from this video and i will see you in the next one